It, it was actually a subject I'd been working on with our teams in Central Europe. How do we reduce the sort of risk and the hazard with changing return rollers? I was actually working for Lafarge in Central Europe at the time and I came to site to see some new screens that had been installed and walking up the conveyor to that building I saw these brackets on the return of the conveyor. Immediately I, I dropped down, took some photos, um, had a discussion with Sean about how they worked. This, this, this is obviously our mock-up conveyor. Um, this, this bracket replaces the old keyhole bracket. Imagine there's a, there's a conveyor belt on there and this is the walkway. It's a, a couple of minute task to do this. There's a small clip that we pull out which lets the roller fall forward to, to release the weight of the belt on top of it, which makes it easier for us to slide the roller outside. And obviously, replace that with a new one. And it's as simple as to put it back as it is to take it out. We've got over 100 uh, conveyors on the site, and we have uh, we started off installing these on the areas of the conveyors above. Uh, traffic routes and walkways and we've now seen the benefit from the fitters of, of uh, il really minimising the risk fitting the roller so we've expanded that throughout the site. It's taken away the uh, working in a cherry picker. Um, it can all be done from one side. I think the hardest part of the job is carrying your roller up to it really. This is a, a tremendous um, uh, design that Sean has come up with. We've been very quick to spread them throughout the site, to uh, publicise them throughout the company, and I'd recommend them to anybody with a conveyor moving bulk materials.